Jim Parker, and I am the National Sales Manager for Unique Solutions USA. We manufacture and distribute the awesome line of products for hot tubs, swimming pools, dishwashers, and washing machines. Today, I wanted to do a quick video to show everyone how to use our awesome washing machine and dishwasher product. This product here is absolutely amazing. If you have a washing machine that has any odors coming from it whatsoever or a dishwasher, this product will reduce to eliminate all of the microbial bacteria and molds that are harboring inside the, indoor, in the internal plumbing of your system to get it clean. So here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be a quick video. It's not gonna be super long, so hang tight. First thing you do is obviously when you get your package, just take the top off. There's gonna have a foil seal on it. Just take your finger, pull that foil seal right off and you'll get a nice yellow gel in there. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take a half teaspoon. Now I have a half teaspoon. If you've only got a full teaspoon, then just you know take that and fill it up. But you wanna do a nice level half teaspoon of gel. That's all it is. Now what I do, because I have found that it works better with my washing machine, is I just put the gel right into the drum of the washer. You can, however, dissolve it in water, which you can just heat up, just heat up the water in the microwave. I put it in a coffee cup, heat it up for about a minute, and then put it in the glass cup, and I just use the glass cup here to show you how much water you'd really need. And then you put it right where your liquid detergent goes, in there, shut the door, and you're good to go. Again, I just found that for my top loader washer, it's just easier for me to just put the gel right into the drum. So I'll just pop it out of there, toss it right into the washer. You can see it's just sitting there. It's all you got to do. Then we're going to turn it on. Now, I did want to mention that on our washer, and maybe yours does too, there is a separate container, a separate uh, entry for putting in bleach. Now, I'm going to have the camera zoom in closer, and you'll see that that's kind of disgusting in there. Now, what I'm going to do is take just a little bit. Now, this is a quarter of a teaspoon, and I'm not even going to take a full quarter of a teaspoon. And I'm just going to dissolve that. Let that dissolve into this water right here. It's hot, so it'll take a couple seconds. Just let that dissolve real quick. And then what I'm going to do is pour this where the liquid detergent goes. And that's just going to sit there while the, while the uh, washing machine does its cycle. That's going to break down some of that gunk that's in there. So that's pretty much all there is to it. A uh, half a teaspoon into the drum or into where you put your liquid detergent. Shut it. Close the door. Obviously turn the power on. Now, depending on how your washer is set up, my, my particular washer, I have a sanitary uh, function. So I'll put it on the sanitary function there. But if you don't, you can obviously keep it on a normal setting if that's what your washer has. And you want to try to get your water temperature to hot or better. Okay, so you can go to, um, see maybe heavy, you can just change whatever settings that you can. And if you have the ability to change the setting to hot, that would be great. Spin can be low or no, you can do a low spin. And then soil can be normal, that's fine. And then you're just going to go ahead and start and the water will start filling up. And we'll come back and I'll show you here in a few minutes what this looks like when the awesome starts working. All right, I just wanted to show everybody what's actually happening inside the washing machine. Uh, we ran the awesome through here. It's actually still in its process. Now you'll see some of the foaming action that goes on. This is exactly what you wanna see. You don't wanna see too much foam, you wanna see, but you wanna see white foam. If you run the awesome through your washing machine and you actually do not see any foam at all, um, you're going to want to stop the process because you do need foam. Uh, certain types of waters, we've, we've run into this here and there, um, where it's, if the water is super hard, you might have to put a little bit more awesome in there uh, to be able to get it to foam up pretty good. Now, this has been going for quite a bit of time now, and, and it's already agitated pretty well. And you'll see, already on the glass here, you'll see bits of particulates that have already shot up and through uh, from the washing machine that are on the glass. You can kind of, I'll try to get in close, but you know, right, right in here, you can see just stuff. It's hard to, kind of hard to see with the camera, but you'll notice some right there and kind of just all over the glass here. Um, so now we're going to let the process finish itself out. And then I'm going to show you exactly what to do uh, once the, uh, the cycle has been completed. But you can already start to see a lot of the, the scum that's already agitated out from the washer at this point in time. 
All right, so the washing cycle has been completed. Uh, the awesome has done its thing. So what I always do is take a couple just paper towels and I'll just, you know, we saw that that stuff that was on the, the windowsill or the window of this. And even if yours doesn't have the, the glass at the top, you know, you can start seeing a lot of the stuff, just a little bit of it that's coming off now. And I just wipe it down. Now, one thing you will notice after you do this, and I'm noticing it right now pretty badly, is that my washing machine smells very, very bad. Now, it looks clean inside, but it smells uh, atrocious, actually. It smells quite disgusting. And now, mind you, I, I clean out my washing machine with Awesome about every four weeks, uh, roughly. So when you do this and you purge your washing machine, you are gonna want to do a second cycle. That's gonna be key in completing the process. Now, you can run a second cycle with a small load of clothing, or you can just run a wet cycle. It really doesn't matter. So as soon as I'm done here, I'm just gonna turn the washer on to speed wash, cold water, doesn't matter what, what the temperature is, and just let all the particulates that we just flushed out uh, from everywhere with inside the system, just flush them down the drain. The other thing too I wanted you to notice is when we, put, we did put the awesome into where the bleach goes, and you'll notice here that it broke that up pretty good. So then I'm just gonna take a, a paper towel here and just get in there and wipe out nice and easy all of the stuff that just got pulled out. So you'll notice it's a whole lot cleaner in there now. So that's pretty much it. That's exactly how uh, the awesome works in a washing machine. Again, uh, key components to remember, half a teaspoon, you can put that right into the drum of the machine or you can dilute that in liquid and put it where your liquid detergent goes. Run your washing machine on a hot water cycle for as long as you can. Um, if you have a sanitized cycle, use that. If you don't, put it on normal and, and you know, I guess uh, change it to like a large load, which would give you the most uh, bang for your buck in that regard there. And then when you're done, I'll wipe it out. You can actually get a spray bottle and I have a spray bottle of awesome here that I'll oftentimes just come back down through where the gaskets are and just and drop the bottle of Awesome in there and then just wipe it all down on the inside just to get it all nice and clean. Now, if you wanted to dilute some Awesome and put it in a spray bottle, this is one teaspoon in a 30, 33 fluid ounces of water uh, that I diluted into here. And then this just, you know, spray it down you see some spots now if you if your washing machine has uh, if you've got a front loading washing machine you've oftentimes got that big thick rubber black seal that's right on the door take a take a spray bottle and spray down let it sit for a few minutes and then spray it again and then you'll be able to wipe it all down so that is pretty much it how you clean your washing machine with awesome again uh, at the very last thing you're going to do after you're done shut your shut your uh, top loader or the front loader shut the door turn it back on and run a very small load. And I'll put it on cold water, no spin, light, and then I'll just let it go. Maybe, there we go. And so we'll just let everything flush down the system, or flush down the drain, and then your system's clean. The recommendation is to clean out your washing machine about every four to six weeks. Thanks for taking the time to watch our videos today on how to use Awesome in your washing machine and your dishwasher. I hope that I've been able to answer a lot of your questions for you. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out and contact us and we'll be more than happy to help you.